Hello. Costadinos. Kare My name is Costadinos Kareklas. Kareklas. I'm coming from Cyprus and I love food. It's obvious, I guess. And I enjoy really the food here in Athens. And by the way, the food over here was amazing and excellent and I really enjoyed it. But I never say no to Suvlagiat Monastiraki. So, my first question to you guys. Who likes soups? Thank you very much. Who had an idea for the past, let's say, 100 years that wanted to make a business? Who had an idea? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Who managed this idea to make it a startup? All right. Okay. So I guess I'm in the wrong conference or something. Okay. So uh, what I wanted to say is like, when you go to a restaurant and you order a full meal, let's say, you have a series of meals that are coming one after the other, and each meal serves a purpose. For example, soups, what do they serve? What is the purpose of having a soup? At the beginning is to, let's say, prepare your stomach to accept the good stuff, which is the main course. And uh, why do we have the appetite? The, ap the ap ap appetizer. appetizer. Okay. It's because it makes us more hungry. Of course, it's in the benefit of the restaurant, but it makes us more hungry to eat more food. And then the good stuff, as we said, the main course. And at the end, of course, you know what it is, a dessert, which helps you, let's say, complete this gastronomic thing that you're feeling and helps you digest. Now, if we take this process and have it in our minds as a process of a startup, we need to have in mind the idea is the soup, the startup is the appetizer, the scaling is the main course, and the stabilization is the dessert. And you have to have in mind that each stage we have a different recipe that will serve a different purpose. We need to have the big vision, yes, we do have it, it's there, I have an idea and I'm gonna make, let's say, a huge market penetration and become a market leader in I don't know how many years, but you need to have focus on your stages and think and act differently on each stage. And you have to remember that scaling is the time to plant your culture fits. And I'm not talking about scaling the organization from the human aspect. I'm talking about scaling the knowledge to grow your organization. Don't build the whole organization in five columns. Build your organization on each and every team member that you have. And grow the knowledge. Don't build silos. Now, who is coming into the company? It's up to you to decide what you really want to do. Do you want to hire experienced people or do you hire the most talented people? The only thing that you need to have in mind is that each and every person has a learning curve. So at the end of the day, you need to decide what are you really looking for? A really experienced person which is a solo player or a really talented person which is a junior? So this is a question for you to answer and act. How do we scale? For sure, we don't grow the same team that we started. And, it's, and it makes sense, let's say, for the first five people or six people that are joining the startup to do a little bit of everything. But this thing needs to be addressed from the, right, from the beginning. And build new teams. Don't grow that team. And scale the knowledge to those teams so you don't have the problem of uh, silos and dependencies and distractions uh, during the production uh, period that you're doing. And have in mind always that scaling is not an overnight process. It's really painful. For sure it's not profitable and you need to address that. You have it in mind. And think only one, th one, one thing. Have only one thing in your mind. If you want to scale based on Agile, you need to remember that doing Agile and being Agile are two different things. Thank you very much. Thank you.